Okay. Operation Watermelon. I'm going to put most of the watermelon in here when I'm finished. But I'll probably have to eat some because it won't fit, which is okay. Beautiful watermelons this time of the year. There's no special way to cut watermelon. It's just that I tend to do it this way where I'm going to cut around there, both sides. So let's start that. Sort of cutting halfway in. Then go around the other side, same thing. So I'm meeting up with the other cut that I had on the other side. So that's that bit done. You can virtually take the watermelon out there, but I like to cut it up so I can put it in a container. They're probably about three quarter inch, inch thick pieces, cutting all the way down to the rind. And that way I can get to the process of putting it in the container. But what I do now, is because they're just thick slices. I want little chunks so I can just grab. So about halfway down, I'll cut in Halfway and halfway up the top, I'll cut in halfway. Same on the other side. So I'm going to cut about a third in, if you like, and then the same up the top. Because what I've got now is lots and bits and pieces of watermelon. Let's see if this works. Doesn't always work, but we end up with a big chunk coming off beautifully there. Same the other side, beautiful. Okay, I think this watermelon is a bit big, so I'm gonna to have to eat some, which is fine. See, big, beautiful chunks. Already pre-cut. Well that, I'm just gonna put the lid on. I like cooking, you get a bit of a bonus. Yes, I'm gonna eat the rest of this. Mmm. It's so sweet. There's a nice bit left on the rind. I don't cut right down to the rind because then you'll end it with the little pieces in there. But I'm going to finish this off because I like it. So, many ways to cut watermelon. That's just how I do it. So, if you have been, thanks for watching.